One summer day, a dog was resting on a branch of a tree. The dog saw an ant drowning in the water. The dog felt very sorry for the ant. I'm always reminded of this story when I have something very difficult to do and that demands patience and persistence. A hungry fox found some delicious looking grapes on the vine. The fox tried to pick them, but they were too high for him to reach. The ant did not sit. The ant worked hard in the summer. It made a house. It filled the house with food. At last, the summer was over and the winter came. Snow came down from the sky. So the ant did not worry about the cold winter. Lucky squirrel lives in a beautiful pond. Yesterday, he went to the river and watched the fish. The fish can see so well. He thought, I want to sound like them too. Then he looked and saw the fine birds in the sky. The birds can fly so well. I want to sound like them too. Last year, my family and I had an opportunity to travel to Italy where my uncle has studied. Wherever we went, people asked us the irritating question. Are you Japanese? Aren't you Japanese? I asked my mother why they thought we were Japanese. My mother said they asked the question probably because Japanese people are much richer than Korean people. I can move step by step straight my goal. When I look around, I find many people who always think, oh, who suffer from economic difficulties. Some people do their best in what they do, but accidents make them fail. Eventually, they can't do, they can't do eventually what they really wanted to do. In our lives, we never know even a moment ahead of us. A few classmates of mine can't take school field trips with other friends because their parents went bankrupt. These unfortunate people are called needy neighbors because they're in desperate need of help. My brother of friendship. When summer, an American teacher moved into our apartment building. When she first saw me near a sun park, she smiled and said, Hello! But I was so shy that I didn't say anything. I was suddenly reminded of the people standing in a long line to watch the fashion of the opera. This musical and others are performed all over the world, and people are greatly impressed with them. I think the boasting good mass drama can also be dramatized in English and performed all over the world. This idea motivates me to study English harder. Here are a few reasons why we students should study English very hard. First, Korea has outstanding culture and traditions, but it is not greatly recognized by foreigners. We should introduce the different features of our culture and traditions to foreigners. To achieve this goal, we should be able to communicate in different languages. The money these nurses and minors had earned sent to Korea not only to set their families free from poverty, but also to boost the economy of our country. However, many of them who settled down kept living with loneliness until they died. Kim and son decided to be a companion because she herself had been held by another hospice when she came down with breast cancer. With the kind volunteer help, she could recover from the incurable disease. This television program taught me many other things. Korea used to be an underdeveloped country and we were in desperate need of financial help for UNICEF and many other countries. At that time, Koreans didn't know the true meaning of companionship and voluntary services. And after making remarkable economic progress, Korea hosted the Olympics and the World Cup. I'm happy to talk about my friends. I have two nice friends. One is Jin and the other is Dong Jun. Jin draws pictures very well. Jin and I have known each other for five years. We share lots of good memories together. We used to go and eat 
Korean spicy rice cake tteokbokki and used to play soccer together. Both Jin and Dong Jin very much because they are brave. One Sunday afternoon, Jin and Dong Jin and I went to the school playground to play soccer. But our dreams were mostly to be doctors, scientists, and presidents of our country. However, as for me, my dream has changed a bit. My dream changed from a diplomat to a volunteer. On the eve of my presentation day, my mother scolded me. Why should you want to be a volunteer when everybody else has great dreams? She said, you can help others when you make a lot of money. Volunteers cannot make any money. So I made up my mind to be a doctor who sings. Along with my math and English proficiency and my good nature personality, I have a strong body and I take vocal lessons. This will surely be good enough to introduce our culture to other countries. Since I am interested in science and biology, I will start very hard to be a doctor. From time to time, I practice singing and dancing. When I make a great amount of money, I will travel to different countries and treat sick people while I place them with my songs and dances. Now, let me start with a question whose answer everyone knows. What are some ways to spend a thousand won wisely while making a difference in the world? Well, we can donate it in the half the needy box or give it to the needy people. Our economy has grown so much that it seems like a thousand won wisely while making a difference in the world. Well, we can donate it in the help the needy box or give it to the needy people. Our economy has grown so much that it seems like a thousand won isn't a large amount of money even to elementary school students. However, how much difference can a thousand won make? With a thousand won, we can help to cure children with night blindness by providing vitamin A. A few days ago, I watched a documentary film about a Korean Catholic priest, Lee Tae-sak, who had worked in a small town called Tans in the southern part of Sudan, Africa. I'm sure that many of you must have heard or seen the movie. After graduating from a medical college in Korea, Dr. Lee made up his mind to go and help the poor and needy people in a remote African village where there were no schools and no hospitals. On the morning of the holiday, we had a family lecture and paid tribute to our dead ancestors. After the ceremony, we bought our grandparents and parents. We also bought our guest teacher. She said to us, Korean traditional dress is very beautiful. We taught her how to play the game of youth. She had a chance to eat the good Korean rice cake soup. She loved the soup so much that I came to believe Korean food could be an international food. After lunch, we went to Dongasa Temple and saw the Tongyu Devil, the big Buddha. She, played, uh, she bought and played for a good half of her family. On our way back, we stopped by Bangja Brasil Museum where people made glass work or art of art by hand. We had good time playing Jagi Chagi, a kind of shellac game played with our feet. Jing Chigi, beating iron drums, Kulongse game and other traditional games. I was very proud that the foreigners loved Korean culture and tradition so much. One day, I saw a very thin-looking man. He was selling fruit at the market. He had only one leg and could not talk very well. When I saw him the first time, I was scared. The next time I saw him, he smiled at me. I was so scared that I looked away. He had posters on his fruit stand. His handwriting was very poor. I laughed at his funny postures. One morning on my way to school, she spilled a basket of apples in front of me. She could not pick up the apples easily. I just watched him trying to pick up his apples, but I had no courage to help him. 
A classmate of mine died after he was hit by a car and that was the end of his life. Even my school teacher bumped into a truck while riding his bicycle. He had to go through an operation on his hip joint and stay in a hospital for a month. I read in the newspaper that every 10 minutes a person dies in a traffic accident in Korea. So the Korea has become most notorious country in the world when it comes to traffic accidents. One of my neighbors who had lived happily with his family was in traffic accident and was injured very badly. He can't move his right leg at all. He must depend on his wheelchair for the rest of his life. It was not his fault. He was coming from Busan on express bus when a bus ran into another bus. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, and my fellow students. My name is Lee in and I am in the sixth grade at Yongjin Elementary School. I am very happy to talk about volunteer service. There are different kinds of volunteer services. Some people go to a remote foreign country to help poor and needy people, and some go to the orphanage or nursing home and help those who are young or old. I have a friend living in an orphanage in Daegu. I regard him as my brother. My mother and I visit the place once a week, and we play games, read the books, and eat out together. Through this volunteer service, I enjoy learning the true meaning of help. Volunteer service doesn't mean a personal sacrifice. Since we cannot live alone, we should learn to help one another in our community. When offering volunteer service, we don't need to spend too much time and effort. Volunteer service doesn't mean that we should constantly help others with the money. It means that we become one by understanding, loving, and supporting the others. One taxi after another stopped and said to me, where do you want to go? When I said that I was going to the area near the EBS broadcasting station, each of the taxi drivers said, sorry, I can't go there. Then they drove away without saying anything else. There were several foreigners who wanted to take a taxi near me, but it was almost impossible for them because taxi drivers were not inclined to give them a ride. They didn't even ask the foreigners where they were headed. And it took me nearly an hour to take a taxi, and I'm sure the foreigners must have spent the whole night trying to catch a taxi on the street. To work. She delivered milk to different offices and apartment houses. When I said to her, Why do you have to get up so early and deliver milk? She said to me, I deliver milk because I can exercise by walking early in the morning and earn some money to help your father pay hospital expenses. While working together with my mother, I found how hard it was to deliver milk. One reason was that if you deliver newspapers, you can throw them. But if you throw the milk, the packs of bottles will break and you can't drink the milk. In addition, some ill nature people stole milk with the liver. When the customers called us, we had to visit the houses again and deliver more milk. It was very troublesome. People complained a lot if my mother and I happened to deliver a different pack of milk to a house by mistake. Then they complained. I drink banana milk. Why did you deliver strawberry milk? Bring a pack of banana milk quickly before I go to work. We had to satisfy our customers. The small cart we carried milk sometimes didn't move very well. Once, my mother had to pay for a cart full of milk. Korea is the only Asian country that sticks to the Confucian spirit in the course of daily life. The aim of this exhibition is to introduce Confucianism to the rest of the world. Various cultural assets and relics are, relics are Relics are uh, related to Confucianism are on display. Uh, 
Various cultural relics and assets are related to Confucianism or on display. Uh, this program is also dedicated to the 510th anniversary of Tege, a famous Confucian spirit, a uh, famous Confucian scholar during the Chosun dynasty. Other special Visit Korea 2011 events include Andong Mask Dance Festival in Andong. It features models of some ancient wooden masks which are worn by the mask dance performers. The audience can learn to dance wearing masks at the end of the performance. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Jang Han Yong. I go to Gyeongshan Middle School. Last summer, when my family moved to a new apartment, my mother made a lot of rice cakes with red beans on them and asked my sister and me to offer the rice cakes to people in our neighborhood. We knocked on the door of each house. When I knocked on one door, I heard someone shouting, Who is it? My sister said, We have just moved into this new apartment, so we are here to say hello. When the door opened, we said hello to the old timers and offered some rice cakes to them. The American woman asked us to come in and asked us many questions. She asked, why do you give me rice cake? My sister explained to her, red beans are used to protect the house from evil and white rice cake symbolizes abundance which can be shared with one another. It is our Korean custom. Then she said, what a beautiful custom you have. I was very proud of our custom of delivering rice cake as we move into a new neighborhood. On Chuseok Day, we invited the American woman to our house, and she watched our ritual ceremony for our dead ancestors. She, she seemed surprised to see a lot of food placed on the ritual table. During the ceremony, she took some pictures and asked us about the meaning of the ceremony. We offer the first and best food to people, to that ancestors on the occasion of the special holiday of Chusa. We thank and miss them. When it was American Thanksgiving Day, she brought us some corn, a baked turkey, and cranberry sauce. She also told us about the origin of American Thanksgiving Day. Our conversation was good enough to promote and strengthen the friendship between our two countries. My mother always said to me, the first lesson in life is give and take, not take and give. To get along well with others, we should always be ready to give, instead of simply trying to take things from others. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Bang Hyun Jae and I'm in the third year at Osong Middle School in Daegu. I'm very honored to give a speech before you today. Let me start my speech with an episode that really happened to my father, a businessman. While he was traveling in Tokyo, Japan, he got lost. He was looking for his hotel, but he couldn't find it easily. He asked a woman on the street and said in English, I'm looking for a Dodge Hotel. Do you know where it is? The woman, whose English was not good, said, I'm sorry, I'm a stranger in this city. Please, wait for a moment. Before my father could say thank you, she was on her way. In Korea at the moment, there are many foreigners helping Koreans in various ways. Some are working in research offices, some are teaching English at educational institutions, and others are serving in the military to defend Korea. Ladies, gentlemen, and my fellow students, what do you think we should do for tourism in Daegu? First, we should be kind enough to show the true image of Daegu. If all of us show tourists kindness and friendliness tourists they will tell their families and friends the good and bright side of our country and eventually more and more foreigners will visit korea when we see foreigners anywhere 
we should be grateful for them and always be ready to help them. Second, if tourists get lost and are not helped, they will not have pleasant memories of Korea. I don't think they will be happy if they can communicate well in Korea. To improve tourism in Korea, all of us should study English and other languages very hard. Thank you. We were very excited to, to stay with monks living at the temple. Since monks are all vegetarians, they served us a myriad dishes made out of all vegetables. One of the foods was mashed potatoes covered by seaweed and it was very palatable. Uh, for lunch the next day, we had bibimbap with a lot of vegetables native to the mountains. After eating a piece of pungent and spicy kimchi, my father's friend had to drink more than five glasses of water. He also said that he had lost two kilograms after the three-day temple stay and three more days at my house. When the American returned home, he sent a letter that said, Thank you for the hospitality. I miss bibimbap as well as Korean friendliness. His response his response surprised me a lot because I always thought kimchi was the best Korean food. If Koreans and foreigners have such different opinions about what's good, then the globalization of Korean food will not happen overnight. It's going to take some time and patience. First, we should continue to follow the tradition of making well-balanced meals. Korea's core philosophies are balance and harmony which are well represented in our food. This is especially true when we are asked to do something that will break the rules, regulations, or the law. I'd like to share with you a story about a respectable bus driver who observes safety first policy. The bus line that I take to school has a limited number of buses. Thus, if I miss the bus, I should be late for school. A few days ago, I arrived at the bus stop as the bus was starting to pull away. I quickly knocked on the door asking the driver to let me on, but the driver refused to do so. After waiting for a long time, I took a later bus and of course, I was late for school. However, although I was aware that the driver was attempting to abide by the safety first policy, I selfishly wanted him to break the rules because I was in a hurry to get to school. Thus, I'm very pleased to learn that we have such a respectable driver around us. And because of a driver such as this one, I'm sure that we'll be able to hold a successful 2011 IAAF because they will place the safety of the passengers above all other matters. In August this year, we'll have the 2011 World Championships in Athletics in Daegu. Athletes from all over the world will come and compete under the name of sportsmanship. But few knew anything about Daegu City. Today, I would like to talk about how we can better introduce our city, Daegu, to foreigners during the 2011 World Championships in Athletics. The number of foreigners living in Daegu presently is 26,000. This means that one out of every 100 people living in Daegu is a foreigner. Among them, 12,000 people are factory workers. As most of us have been told that Korea is a single-race country, we do not pay much attention to them. Even though they are our very neighbors, we simply don't care about their existence or well-being. All we really do is hear tragic news about them on the media, like domestic abuse or suicides. It is time for us to take action. I am grateful to the city government of Daegu for hosting a wonderful multicultural festival called Colorful Daegu. This will change our attitude toward multicultural families. 
By holding this event annually, we can create an atmosphere where both native Koreans get to know each other better by sharing stories, cultures, games, and food. I'm going to talk about dreams. The word dream implies hope. There's a big difference between a person who has a dream and a person who doesn't. People have one or two dreams, but a man without a dream is like a ship without a rudder. In short, he has no destination at all. A dream is what we want to do and achieve in our lifetime. I have a dream that I want to achieve. It is to be a diplomat. A diplomat is a government official who lives in a foreign country, representing his country and dealing with diplomatic matters for his people. But a diplomat does more than that. In my opinion, a diplomat is a person who takes care of his people with warmth and kindness. My dream is to be a diplomat who is warm-hearted and will help mankind. When I was in the third year in middle school, I happened to see a drama which inspired me a lot. The main actor was a diplomat and to become a diplomat seemed wonderful at first. But now, I have specific reasons for wanting to become a diplomat. First, I'd like to work in a foreign country and experience many things. The new adventure will bring about great changes in my life. Secondly, I'd like to work in a country where the literacy rate is very low. I want to offer volunteer services of teaching how to read and write in addition to being a diplomat.